Hey guys, I think our surprise is here. Do you want to go see what it is? Yeah. Okay, let's go. For more stories of life on our Wyoming homestead, plus lots of homesteading tips and tricks, Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we post a new video every Tuesday. Mom, that's a story we can make. You know what it is? No. Any guesses? A big picture. Huh? A big picture? Not a big picture. Whoa. What is? It's a tree. You know what kind of tree? Lemon. Lemon. It's a lemon tree. I what? Eat it. You want to eat it? Yeah. Okay. Well, not right now. You can't eat it. Or you can't eat it right now. You have to wait till it grows lemon. Um. So it's a little lemon tree that you can grow in the house because normally we can't grow lemons in Wyoming, right? Mm -hmm. Not outside. It's too cold. So we're gonna put it in a pot and it'll grow live outside in the summer and inside in the winter. Sound good? Yeah. Should we yeah. figure out how to get out of here and give it some water and probably had a long trip. There you go. Ooh, what do we need a map? Yeah, for? we need the instructions. Okay, so we... That's pretty. Look at that, Mace. Okay, so we're gonna follow the directions to make sure we don't kill this thing any faster than I normally kill things. So, first step, we gotta unpack it which we did, and we need to take off the plastic. So do you want to take off the plastic on the outside? Yeah, you take off the green thing. I think it's a bag. The next step we need to trim off, do you see any branches that are hurt or damaged or broken? We need to trim anything off that's damaged. Do you see anything? It looks pretty healthy, I, I'd say. Does it smell good? Yeah. Can you smell it? Not the lemons, but it What does, does the leaf smell like? This like plain. Yeah? It doesn't smell like much. No, ale. Smells like oil? Yeah. Oh, okay. Lemon oil. I don't think it smells lemony. Not yet. <laughs> okay, now we need to get a bucket and fill it with water, and then we're going to dunk that bottom part in the bucket. So I'm going to go see if I can find a bucket in the barn that's big enough. Okay, I know there's got to be a bucket around here. That one's too big. There's always buckets everywhere. Why can't I find one now? Aha! Uh -huh, bucket! I don't know why this one's in here. It's kind of dirty. I'm gonna have to give it a wash, but it'll work. So you see, I'm gonna steal your bucket. So I was really excited to find Nature Hills. They're a large online nursery and they ship from all over the US. So it's not like they have just a big warehouse. They work with the growers all over and they have a lot of options. So it's kind of hard for me to find exactly what I want locally. You know, we have your typical garden stores, but nothing specialty and definitely nothing kind of old fashioned or exotic. And I love that um, Nature Hills has those options and shipping is really reasonable. So this is my first plant to try from them, this lemon tree, and I'm excited to try some more things in the future. Mesa, grab that tree and we'll go take it over to the bucket and give it some water here. Okay, so the instruction said to put it completely under the water until bubbles stop coming out, and then we know that the soil is wet enough, okay? So go ahead and stick it in there. Push it down so the top of the container is covered. There you go. Push it all the way in. Hold it down under there. So we need some more water. Okay, are the bubbles done? So next step, according to the instructions, we need to cut the plastic container off and then we can plant it. Hey Bridger, I need your help to hold this for me real quick.
seems like these dwarf citrus trees don't like to be too wet, so I need to be careful not to overwater it. And I need to be careful when I bring it in in the fall that I don't shock it, and I need to kind of make it a gradual transition. They also like a little bit of humidity, which might be tricky because Wyoming is definitely not humid, um, so I might need to maybe spray the leaves. And I'm gonna keep it in my mudroom, which has a big south-facing window that'll hopefully give it enough light. If any of you out there in YouTube land have done these dwarf citrus trees before and can give me any tips, I would love it. Gozer, do you like the lemon tree? Well, I don't think worms are living this dope. I don't think there's any worms in there, no. Nope. 